What's up folks? Trit Smith here and in this adventure it's gonna be a lot of firsts, okay? This is the first time on this boat. Just picked up the boat today. So happy about the boat. It's so nice but it is like 7 15 and I'm at an, a place that I know nothing about because long story but I'll share that with y'all later but basically I'm somewhere where I don't know where I am. Don't know anything about the little river here pretty much other than what I've seen on Google Earth on my phone just recently. We're about to put in and we're gonna be camping checking out some cool springs and no telling what else. I actually have no idea what else, but this is kind of, this is the hand we're dealt, so we're gonna play it. Let's see what we got. Well, great, it's starting to rain right as we're launching the boat. The weather's kind of interesting the whole time we're gonna be here. It's like at least 50% chance of rain, sometimes like 70 and 80, so always an adventure. See if I can drive this baby. Y'all catching them? Try. So y'all ain't catching them? <laughs> Good luck. Great. Yellow flies out here. See the yellow fly? Where's he at? There's yellow flies out here. Great. Alright, there's supposed to be a spring like, oop, I see a bubble. Not too far up here. I'm gonna jump in and kind of get a little quick bath, so to speak, before we go and find where we're gonna camp. Oh yeah, this is definitely gonna be it. Oh, there he is. I got him too. Yeah, there's definitely a distinct little bubble here. That's not what we're looking for. Rope swing. That four stroke is quiet, baby. I like it. Oh, God dang. The yellow flies are taking me out, man. I already got one. Look at him. He's on the camera. Joker. All right. Okay. Can't pay attention to where I'm going because there are yellow flies. Get a little shallow, got us a log there. Yellow fly on the darn camera. Ooh. All right, I gotta trim her up. Oh, he's on my nose. Okay, here's the caves. All right, put her in neutral. That's one thing I'm not fond of. Cool, so that's what I heard about. I had to come see. Darn the yellow flies. These here caves. Yeah, this yellow fly. Where's he at? He's on my back. I got him. Okay, there's more though. He's got brothers. All right, we're about to hop in. Holy smoke, they're swarming me. Oh, gosh. Oh. <laughs> All right, screw this. I think the boat's okay. We're just gonna take a little quick little dip. <laughs> I just swallowed one. I didn't swallow it. He went in my mouth though. Look, there's a hole right there. Can y'all see it? You know what? Crap, I've got all my clothes on. Whatever. Trip dip! <laughs> Dang, it's not even cold, like, at all. That's weird. We're not gonna spend a lot of time here uh, right now because we gotta go find camp and uh, get, you know, situated on the boat like I've never done before. But well, we're going to come back here tomorrow. We're going to swim down in these caves and stuff because you can like free dive in them and stuff. And that's, that's one of the main reasons I came here. Dude, that looks awesome. It is awesome. You know, the caves are awesome. And I have to say, this boat's pretty awesome. <laughs> Hey, yellow flies are bad. We gotta get away from them. Where's that one, yellow fly? That's the one. Yep, that's a yellow fly.
just like I said, I really have no idea where I'm going. Don't know anything about the river, you know, really, other than I see some boats here and I see some people here. Oh, and there's yellow flies. They've only got me one good time. I do know one thing. Check this out. <laughs> oh, man. That is quiet. Day, baby. <laughs> I love it. That was one of the reasons for getting a new boat. Or four strokes right there. You know, you know how quiet that is? <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I love it. And we got a radio and we got we got a nice boat. But I'll, I'll share more about that like with y'all tomorrow. Right now we gotta find somewhere to camp. Just to tie up the boat. I think I want just like a few trees or something to tie to. That's something really simple. Really simple. Something like, oh crap, that's something up. My foot down here hit the radio. How do you turn this off? Hey, we need to just, we need to turn it on and crank her up. We even got Bluetooth, y'all. <laughs> Man, I'm in love. Oh gosh, this is not, this is not good. <laughs> All right, found an old, an old river camp and a couple of old docks. I mean, nobody definitely uses it anymore. So I'm gonna tie up between them <laughs> and put on some long sleeves and stuff. Oh, this is beautiful. Check it out. Check it out. Okay, I gotta put it in neutral. That's one thing I'm not very fond of. I've got the boat tied up between <clears throat> an old, really old dock that's not existing anymore. And this uh, really old camp that doesn't like anyone uses it anymore. There's definitely no one here now, so I'm just kind of tied up between these docks. And I plan on uh, sleeping right here, kind of diagonally a little bit, right? And there's some rain in the forecast, so I can hopefully find a way to stretch my poncho from here to there and have a pretty decent, hopefully, little way to get out of the, out of the rain, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. That's what I'm hoping for, but if not, I'll just have to embrace the rain. Or I don't know. There is a little, uh, there's a little deck up there, a little porch, covered porch. That might be my last resort. So right now I guess I am going to try and rig up my little sleeping system for my shelter, if it works. All right, I got it set up. It's dark now, but you know, it took me a few minutes, but it's it's really good, actually. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to be able to stay dry if it rains. I'm going to be able to be comfortable under there. It's actually pretty large. I'll show it to you better in the morning, but I mean, it's just kind of stretched from the <clears throat> the polling platform to the grab bar kind of sorta. Uh, here, let's go inside. <laughs> well, we all in trip. Check it out. I may secure this, this side over here, but that's kind of an easy way to get in and out. Essentially, you're looking at it. This is pretty good in here. I mean, pretty decent size. I'm covered all the way to the back, and my feet are gonna be on the cooler like right over here. So I think it's going to work pretty well, actually. It's going to work as long as the rain isn't coming from the rear. And typically, it wouldn't be coming from the rear because at anchor, you kind of swing at anchor and so your bow will be pointing to the wind. The wind's always blowing at you. you know, so as long as I just don't get wind from that direction tonight and rain at the same time, I should be okay. I don't know. I kind of like it. It's pretty cool. Actually, I like it a lot. I like the boat a lot. This works pretty good. But... I think I can, I can improve on it and like make my own tarp for it. All right, let's set up our sleep system. I have my cooler whoop, right, right over here. So I essentially have a pretty good, a pretty flat surface. My, this might be a, mm, a grunt higher. I took the cushion off of the cooler to make it about the right height. Now I'm just gonna lay my air mattress across the top here and that'll be pretty much it. One of my favorite things about the boat and one of the big reasons why I wanted a different boat and a nicer boat so I could have these like dry hatches in the boat to store all my gear. All right, so I've got this underneath. I've got my gear and it stays nice and dry.
All I need is my air mattress, my sleeping bag liner, my bug net, my head net thing, and a pillow. That's pretty much it. It's actually pretty nice because it's not super humid, like stuff's actually drying. <laughs> like I'm drying the stuff because usually, or not usually, but sometimes everything's like really wet and really humid and you never dry off. But I think it's going to be a really comfortable night. How awesome! This boat is sweet. Wait a minute. What am I doing? This is a special air mattress. It has a special pump. You hook this up. Basically, you have your air mattress. You've got a big, essentially a dry bag. You take her, you fill her full of air, then you close her up, and you roll her up, and she blows up the air mattress. It's really pretty awesome. And this isn't some expensive name brand thing. It's you know kind of a bobo one, but pretty nice. <laughs> I'll have a link below to it and some of the other stuff I'm using too. <sighs> Alright, got her blown up. Pillow is next. <sighs> Sleeping bag liner. In my head net, you guys have seen me wear so many times. And we're set. I turn my watch off to say battery. What time is it? It's like 9 o'clock. So I think we're going to call tonight, y'all. I guess I'll show you guys how I'm going to lay. This dry box that I keep some cool stuff in, like my camera batteries, a battery bank to charge my phone, I've got a mirror in here, battery cables, some vitamins, and my multi-tool. I don't really have a good organization system on this boat yet, but I've got some ideas. All right, I was just really winging it when I was, that's been on. I was really winging it when I was throwing all the stuff in the boat earlier. All right, let's see how this is gonna, this is gonna jive here. I'm just gonna get in here like this. I already let my pillow go over the side. That'd be bad. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. This is going to work. Unless my pillow goes over the side. That would suck. <laughs> or anything goes over the side. I mean, I'm not worried about me, but... It's got to be uh, mindful. All right. Good night. See you in the morning. They're bugs. They're not too bad, but they're bothering me. Good morning. Uh, sun's coming up. I slept kind of sort of decent. Good enough. But we've got a really beautiful sunrise coming up. Let's check it out. we got a couple springs to hit today. I'm gonna go back to where those caves are and try to dive those caves and then there's supposed to be another spring called the crack i'm going to try to get to i don't know if i can in the boat i have to walk some of the way or something but it's supposed to be really awesome so we're going to go check that out and see what we can find so before i take it down i want to show you guys kind of how i have my poncho kind of jerry rigged like i said this is the first time i ever set it up so i didn't really have any idea really of how to do it so i just kind of went with it i just used a poncho, a little bit of rope, and some gear ties. You can see I had a pretty good bit of room under there. Not too bad. But I pretty much just used some gear ties to attach it to different things around the boat. Back here, gear tie there. Another gear tie there. And just opened her up pretty nicely in there. I mean, I had a pretty good bit of room. I'll just lay right here. My feet any up on the cooler and it worked pretty well good enough for me and definitely good enough for first night on the boat i mean i was pretty happy to be sleeping on the boat <laughs> pretty happy to be sleeping on this boat one i hear all that thunder all right now i'm just going to kind of try and dry this off best i can tear it down and 
I don't know, we're gonna wait till the sun get a little bit higher, then we're gonna go check out some springs. I'm really excited about that. I get to see springs I've never seen before. One thing I always carry on the boat is a sponge. I really love a sponge. It's good for you know, cleaning the boat, drying the boat off. Like right now, I'll use it and I'll help dry off my poncho. You guys see that rainbow? I think you can. There's just rain and storms off in the distance. I don't know how far. Pretty good ways. Hopefully they stay a pretty good ways. All right, so today we're going to explore some springs, like I said. And one of them, I don't really know where it's at. Or, I mean, I kind of do have an idea. Someone just sent me uh, a screenshot. Actually, two people sent me screenshots of where it is, where it's located. And it's not too far from here. I'm not sure if I can get the boat up there. But one thing about this boat that's kind of fancy is it has this nice GPS here that I haven't turned on yet. It's pretty fancy. It's like a chart plotter GPS. So let's go back here. We'll turn our main battery on. In this boat, it has four switches here. I know that this one is the trim. Okay. And one, I think on the left, is the... No. No. Okay. <laughs> so this one is the lights. Is the radio on? No. Let's see here. No. Nope. Okay, this is the bilge pump manual, so this must be our accessories. Let's flip it up. Or actually, let's see if it turns on without doing that. It does. Okay, so it's just wired straight. Cool. Nice. Let's see how bad this thing works, or how good this bad boy works. All right, she's on. I think she's trying to find where we're at. I think this up here means it's working, trying to get the uh, GPS signal. Whoops. Cool. All right, so I've kind of got it to work somewhat, but I don't know. I need to play with it. It's, it's pretty sophisticated. It's like a smartphone. So I need to play with it at home and you know, really figure it out or you know, learn about it first. <laughs> but that is going to come in handy on some future trips. All right, let's shut her down then. What is this? Oh, cool. Power off. Oh, yeah. And I think it can wirelessly like control the music and stuff somehow fancy all right well i think we've got some weather coming in pretty sure we do it's getting a little dark back there so we're going to cruise back towards the boat ramp anyways because that's where the, the cave springs are we're going to hit that first because that's probably where it's going to be the most people today so i want to hit that early while there's fewer people hopefully no one then we'll come back out and we'll try to find that crack spring see if we can get it Pretty neat. Definitely pretty neat. All right, so yesterday it was high tide when I got in here. Really don't know what. It's pretty low tide right now. That means I just have to pay attention to rocks and logs a little bit more. Fortunately, we do have pretty shallow draft in this little boat, though. One thing I'm a stickler about is a clean boat. So while we wait and see how close this lightning and all is going to get, I'm going to go ahead and rub the boat down, sponge the boat down, whatever.
I don't mind the rain, but it's the thunder. You know, if I get in the water, you know, the lightning, that could be the only dangerous part. But the caves are right there. I don't know if you can kind of see little dark spots in the water. They're right in the light area, like right there, right there, maybe another one right there. There's caves, or just holes that go down under a rock layer, under a shelf. You can swim from hole to hole. That's what we're waiting on. I think the thunder might be getting a little better, like a little farther away and a little less frequent. So we may just we may just go in a few minutes anyway. We're going to be wet. <laughs> Why not be in the water? I would love some sunshine, though, to shine down in the holes, but hey. So I know on my Instagram story, I have a lot of people asking me, and Trick, what are the spikes for that are on the front of the boat? Why are there spikes on the boat? Well, what those are for is if you're fly fishing, right, it's to keep the, the line from falling off of the boat. So when you're fly fishing, you will cast, and then you'll kind of you kind of pull the slack and let it drop to your feet, or something kind of like that. So whenever you're pulling that slack, you don't want it to fall off the boat or blow off the boat, whatnot, and get in the water. You want it to kind of stay uh, neatly disorganized, I believe. And so all those little spikes, they just kind of catch the line to keep it from sliding off of the boat. I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it on there or not, but I guess they kind of look cool, but I like being able to climb on and off the boat easily because I like getting in the water a lot, so I may have to take them off. Now, I know there's like no trespassing signs and stuff, but that just means don't get on the bank, so I'm not breaking the law here what I'm doing. But that thunder is very distant and it hasn't been close in a while, so let's get in the water. In every old bar in town. All right, let's go see what we can see. I don't need that. Woo! Fortunately, this water is not as cold as some other springs. <laughs>
pretty awesome. I like it because it's not as freaking cold as some other springs I've been to. It's, you know, it's more bearable. It's probably, I mean, it's quite a bit warmer, or, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's noticeably not as cold. All right, let's go hit these one more time, then we're gonna go to the crack. Alright, I got a little local knowledge about the crack. Whew, I'm shivering a little bit. We're gonna go see if we can get to it. <laughs> I'm shivering pretty good. <laughs> We're like Jim Carrey or somebody. Oh, okay. I can control it. But then it just comes back. <laughs> Alright, so we're going up here. Supposedly there's a creek to the left. I think it's like the second opening or something to the left. I need to go up there a ways to the crack. And I'm going to have to ditch the boat, walk for a little bit through some shallow water to find the crack. It's going to look like a dead end, but it's not. Okay. Oh, that was cold. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, uh, something big. Yep. Dolphins. Holy cow. No kidding. Oh, pretty neat. I knew I was hearing stuff last night. Those dolphins, there they go. Cool. Pretty sure this is where we need to be going. I just can't really see logs and stuff. And there's something up there. Oh yeah, we're going. Getting a little narrow. <laughs> Pretty cool though. I had to put a shirt on because the yellow flies are getting after me. Some people have camped up there before. Well, this might be about as far as the uh, yellow flies. Look at all these yellow flies. Taking them out. One, two, three, four, five, six. They're everywhere. All right. Yeah, this might be as far as we go. It's killer. Uh. My baby. Oh, you know, I gotta eat sometime. I hadn't eaten since like 2.30 yesterday. Yeah, I know, I'm crazy. 
All right, let's uh, let's go up that way. See if we can find something. It's kind of me versus the yellow flies. <laughs> That's what it feels like. All right, let's go see. See what we can do. Hope it's not too much further. This is pretty cool. It's like a jungle. Like for real, like a jungle. opens up and it's like I don't know, it's a little oasis back here. It's like Gilligan's Island. You got this crack. It's alright, you know, it's not magnificent. But it's pretty cool. Not too bad. <laughs> so which uh, circus are you from? Huh? <laughs> I'm just <laughs> I'm kidding. Well, that was pretty cool, I guess. So now we're just going to head back to the boat. And I'll see if we can get out of this place. <laughs> it's pretty tight. It's really pretty tight. Yeah. No, the boat's still there. Yeah, the crack to me just wasn't worth getting in. Just wasn't worth getting in. It's beautiful, but, you know, wasn't clear enough and wasn't big enough, really. Ooh, let's talk about a good thumbnail, maybe, right there, baby. I kind of like you. call this little mini adventure done but I'm not technically done I've got at least one more stop in steam hatchy doing some scalloping for the next few days so uh, this is not over this is just over like right here if this video is over you need to catch the steam hatchy video but there's always another adventure around the bend so hey folks take care God bless get out there and uh yeah I will go over the skiff with y'all later I promise it just wasn't the best weather and have places to go things to do adventures to have See ya.